grande mint majesty tea with honey and then can I do a venti ice water and then can I do the banana walnut loaf okay. thank you Today we are doing a little life update. I miss you guys. I wasn't actually planning to film today, but today's been so long. I'm turning into a Starbucks girly because I discovered the Mint Majesty tea. It's so good. I get it with honey. Usually I go to like Swig or something, which is like a soda place and I just get a water. But I also love the Starbucks banana nut loaf thing. That is, I was gonna say it's gonna be my dinner maybe, but it's only 4.30, I thought it was later. Adding my butter to this, but yeah, it's been a very long day and I haven't filmed in a little bit. So, little chit chat car life update. Because I know you guys miss the vlogs, which this isn't actually like a vlog, but this is what we are doing today. So, mm. this smells very peachy. <gasps> this is not the right one. This is Jade Citrus Mint. This is two different teas. I'm confused. Okay, yeah, that's not the tea that I got, but that's okay. <sighs> I'm just enjoying some nice peace and quiet in the car. Moms will get it. Also, speaking of moms, I posted a TikTok a couple days ago because some of you guys were asking if I'm not really showing like the girls anymore online which I have slowly kind of been doing just showing them like less and less over the last little bit as time has gone on just like as they get older I kind of wanted them to have more privacy which I've like mentioned before but I didn't have a certain like timeline or plan for exactly when to stop showing them but I feel like where I showed them the most was on the vlogs because they're like kind of just in the background of whatever I'm doing I feel like that's kind of been one of the reasons that I haven't really been filming as much because it's hard to like navigate that and figure out how to show my day without showing them. I feel like if it was like the back of them or something, that's different, but I just don't wanna show like a lot of their faces as they're getting older. Even just kind of like things about them, like updates about them. I feel like there's been a lot of people lately that I've seen that are like not showing their kids at all. And I always think like, oh, that's definitely a good move. That's the best thing to do. That's the right thing to do. Then I'm like, okay, I also need to be doing that if I like think that that's the best thing to do. But even though it sounds kind of funny to be like, oh, it's hard to not show my kids like it is hard because I film what I do all the time and I'm with them all the time in my last video I mentioned that I was gonna be taking a social media break at some point this year I don't know when that is I thought I was gonna take it sooner and then I was like no that's something that I just want to like do this year like a goal of mine but I don't know exactly when that will be so I am kind of posting vlogs like less frequently now everyone keeps asking like did you quit YouTube I didn't quit I just don't have anything to say um especially like an actual vlog like I just it's so hard to do that and not show my kids I don't know I feel like I didn't really organize my thoughts for this video so this is just like 10 minute car talk that I didn't really plan out. Cause like I said, I wasn't planning on filming today, but I miss you guys and just wanted some peace and quiet. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to leave, I wanted to get a snack and I wanted to just like talk to you guys and whatever. Um, I don't know when I will go back to like regularly scheduled vlogs. Usually we would post like once a week, but it just feels like a lot right now. And I'm still posting on like TikTok and I feel like no one is using Instagram stories right now, so I'll post on there like every couple days. And I've never been a person who like posts on my feed a ton. Like sometimes I'll post my TikToks to my feed, but I'm still posting on like other places. I was thinking about posting on Snapchat because I feel like a lot of people have been talking about Snapchat lately. I just have to figure out my login and what my username is because I have no idea. But if you guys use Snapchat, tell me because I feel like a lot of my friends are using Snapchat now. It's also been over a month since I closed my clothing store. I love my clothing store, but it has been so nice to just like enjoy not doing that for a little bit everything that i do like my brand deals or my posts or my like tiktoks my stories or whatever i can do it on my own schedule and i'm like only really depending on myself to get it done but with luca and gray stuff i was always trying to make sure that i was like very responsive to like the different employees that we had and so i felt like i was just on my phone all the time trying to make sure that like if they sent me something that i needed to respond to or like make edits to something that i wasn't replying like two days later when i had a work day scheduled for myself so it made me feel like i was just on my phone all the time I don't know. It's like a million different reasons why I wanted to like take a break from that. Point is, it's been really nice to just have like less work and be able to just spend more time with Parker and the girls. I'm definitely enjoying a break from that. Kind of a break from vlogging, even though it's not officially a break. It's just kind of more like posting when I can or when I feel like it instead of trying to stick to that schedule of once a week. And I've never really been able, well, I have, but I haven't ever like made the choice before to consciously be like doing a lot less work to be able to spend more family time. So not even just the physical time, 
but just like the mental space like I have so much more mental space in my head to just like be able to do mom things which I love but then it's hard when like that's where I'm at in my life but then I'm trying to not share that part of my life as much so hopefully that even makes any sense I don't know I don't even remember what anything that I just said I also have cramps so bad and should have taken Advil before I left I wonder if I have any in my car I never do nope my blood fell. I also feel like sometimes it's hard with updates like this because I'll feel a certain way and have a plan and like think I'm gonna do something and then I'll like change my mind. I don't know, when you say something on the internet, then it's just like there forever. And obviously it's fine to change your mind and this is like not that deep. I'm just saying that I like wanna share less of my kids or whatever, so I've been like filming less. And people are like, wait, I thought you like said this. I thought you were gonna do this. I'm like, I changed my mind though. I don't think I'm gonna change my mind about sharing them because it's some about not sharing them because it's something I've wanted to do for a while, but just didn't know exactly how to like go about that. But now I haven't really posted them very much in the last little bit so i feel like it's best to just like it's not even cold turkey because i feel like it was gradual but yeah it's just been hard to figure out like what to film because my days are like revolving around them and being a mom so it's like how do i film that but not actually show them but then also i don't just want everything to be like mom stuff either and i feel like that's so much of what i'm doing right now and i've always said that i don't think of myself as a mommy blogger even though like a lot of you guys would be like oh well i think of you as that but like mommy vlogger like family vlogger things like that i feel like i've just never like identified with those terms like maybe a little but it's like that's just a part of it it's not everything so it's kind of hard to figure out how to like remove that part i don't know but then i like mom content so much like i find it so helpful and like relatable on different things but it's just such like a special part of my life that it's just like weird as i start to get older and have such different opinion on things than i had when i was younger like i remember thinking just when it comes to like sharing kids online i was like oh what difference is it if like i share a picture of my kids and then joe with like 200 followers shares a picture of their kids like it's the same thing because it's on the internet but i don't know i just feel so different now and i feel like if i could go back in time i definitely would have like shared a lot less even just like pictures and like updates and things like that i'm grateful that i am not sharing anymore when my kids are young i always thought it was weird when people post their kids when they're like older kids or like teenagers or things which obviously a teenager can kind of like understand a little bit more what it means to like be posted but I don't know like an eight-year-old or like a ten-year-old or something like I never planned to show my kids when they're that age I didn't know what age I would stop yeah I feel like now is kind of just like a good time so yeah I'm trying to figure out everything also another random thing that I need to do is go and get my nails done this week they're so grown out so I think I'm gonna go do that in a couple days it's also Mother's Day in a couple days what else a lot of you guys have been asking for updates on the house and I don't have an update now but I will have an update probably in the next video so I don't know when that will go up but probably like a couple of weeks yeah I feel like that's kind of all of my updates for now I just wanted to share one I just wanted to like say hi because I miss you guys two I wanted to share kind of just an update on where I'm at with like posting vlogs and just sharing the girls like way less basically not at all i do not know if i can finish this tea it's like not bad but if it has caffeine i like my other one because it doesn't have caffeine it's 5 p.m i'm gonna be crazy oh i also just got these cute little fans because my car does not have vents up on the top and so it's so annoying for like, kids in the summer it's like nice here kind of but then also cold it's 71 degrees right now so it's like kind of nice out but utah does not have four seasons i do not know why people say that it literally has like eight months of winter and then a week of spring and then it's cold and then two days of spring and then it snows and then it's like summer all of a sudden and then you get like a week of fall it kind of feels like summer but kind of not but anyways i got these fans from amazon last summer i had ones that like have the legs on them and i could attach it to like the car seat or the yeah like the chair right here and the fans would blow on them but now that they're both a little bit bigger i feel like they can just use these like handheld fans but my car doesn't have the vents up on the top which is super annoying because especially lola's like rear facing so she literally does not get like this vent right here and i feel like it gets so hot so i got them both these and they're just like rechargeable they had a couple different colors so i'll link these down below but they were super cute oh something else i'm obsessed with are these little car trash cans i'm pretty sure i got part for this for like, christmas i got me one too but they're so nice for like little wrappers and stuff that is gonna be it for today so thumbs up subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys